In this best video that you're going to see in the next 10 minutes, we're going to take a look at some guidelines to help solve equations, and then we're going to solve an equation. Well, here are the guidelines. First thing we're going to do when we look at an equation is to simplify each side. Our book likes to call the sides members, the left member and the right member. But we usually say left side and right side. In order to simplify, we first use the definition of subtraction, where we rewrite all subtractions as adding the opposite. Then, if we need to, we apply the distributive property as necessary. And the third thing we do when we're simplifying is to combine the like terms. Once we've done that, we're then ready to use the properties of equality. And we apply these properties in reverse order of operations, because what we say we're doing is we're undoing additions and then undoing multiplications or divisions. And so we apply what's known as the addition property of equality, where we add something to both sides. And sometimes we choose to show it as subtracting something from both sides. But whether you're doing addition or subtraction, we generally call that the addition property of equality because, of course, subtraction is the same as adding an opposite. Likewise, our final step is to undo the divisions or multiplications. And since division is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal, they in general come under the same banner, and we typically call either dividing or multiplying the multiplication property of equality. Well, now let's actually work a problem. Here's a problem from our next assignment. It happens to be labeled T. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite the two subtractions in this equation as adding the opposite. So what we've done here is definition of subtraction. And I write the abbreviation with a TR so that we don't confuse it with the abbreviation for substitution, which is another word we use a lot. And then I'm going to draw these little arrows to show how I apply the distributive property. I'm going to do it in two places, one on each side, and that's going to give me 12D, 2 times 3 is 6. There's nothing to do here because we're waiting to use the, the distributive property, so there's nothing to do with the 18, so we simply recopy 18 plus, but then the negative 3 times 16 is negative 48, and the negative 3 times negative 3D is positive 9D, so what we've just done is distributive property. And now we're going to combine like terms. Well, the left side, there are only two terms, and they are not like terms, so the left side does not change. But these two terms are like terms on the right side, and when we combine them, they come out to be negative 30. I hope I've done my arithmetic correctly. The 9D cannot be combined with another variable term. So we didn't have that many like terms to combine, but it's still necessary. So what we've done here is combine like terms. And now, both the left side and the right side are in simplest form. So we can pick any one of the four terms and add the opposite of that term to each side, and I'm going to pick the negative 30, and then I'm going to add positive 30 to each side, and I'm going to show my work like this. The property of opposites tells us that negative 30 plus positive 30 makes 0, so I put a slash mark through that to show that they add up to 0, and then I simplify what I've done, and 6 plus 30 is 36, and 0 plus 9D is 9D, now I don't have a choice. There are three terms left. We have all of the numbers, known as constants, on the left side, 36. And the variables, there's one variable term on each side. We need to get all the variable terms on the same side, so there's no choice. We need to add negative 12D to both sides. There are actually other choices you could make, but those choices would not get you closer to solving the problem. So the choice that's the most efficient is to add negative 12D to both sides. And those are 0 because, again, the property of opposites. And this, by the way, is the 
I'm going to abbreviate. This is the addition property of equality. And we use that for addition property of equality, APOE. And now we get 36 equals the answer to 9D plus negative 12D, which is negative 3D. And now, even though we're going to do dividing, since division is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal, we call it MPOE, multiplication property of equality, even though we're writing it as division. But it's the same as multiplying by negative one-third, which is the reciprocal of negative three. And we're uh, out of room at the bottom, but I'll simplify here. Negative three over negative three is one. And one times D is D, so I'll put the final answer over here. 36 divided by negative 3 is negative 12, so our final answer is negative 12, and we've now solved a relatively long equation, and the answer is D equals negative 12.